Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rise of Mordor Battle for you today and this is an epic one, it is a really great one. We've got various mods here, we've got uh, the Rohan mod on, we have Five of Mordor for some reason, we've got all sorts on and yeah, and we have uh, the Heroes pack uh, which adds like Sauron and Aragorn and all sorts but we start off with a charge from Rohan, some Rohirrim scouts going in along with some Edrin lancers and Riddermark lancers Charging some Varig footmen and some Orc rabble. Uh, I don't know if this was just like, if this was planned or whatever, but we have like, yeah, a charge going on here. I think they're trying to just like pull through and stuff like that, which is not going to end well for them. But yeah, these, uh, these cavalry are basically just going to die in the end. But yeah, there you go, already breaking of those border scouts. Yeah, they just pulled through and uh, I guess they were allowed to do so. I'm not quite sure. And they're, yeah, they're just carrying on through now, and they're just going to cause some havoc. I presume this is part of like their scenario that they were making. I had this sent in by a sub um, and a member of the Discord. So if you want to also send in your replays, whether it's Rise of Order or anything else, then uh, please do join the Discord down below, and you can uh, get involved in battles, and you can send in your own battles. But as you can see, this is uh, not going well for Rohan. I'd say this is just kind of a waste of cavalry. Um, they've ended up just dying here. And we do have a, like, Thermopylae defense. It is on the Thermopylae map. I mean, look at this defense. It looks epic. We've got uh, Bree Spearman, Bree Halberdiers already set up. Don't often see uh, Eriador on the battlefield, but we do have them today. And they do look awesome. Um, we do have a look at this catapult up here. It has an amazing view of... Uh, of like the army down below which is made up of Mordor and the Eastlings. We have Dunedain Rangers over here. Uh, in an excellent position as well. Also on the rocks ready to look out. And here we go with some returning shots from the Mordor and Eastling artillery. They've hit. Oh that's not actually a bad hit. Bounced and then bounced into that line. Very nice. And we do have a, another cavalry force over here ready to meet. The army of the Eastlings, and we also have Harado here, so it's a 3v2. Uh, I don't know whether this is, well, Balance Power is saying this is not a, uh, a fair fight. Uh, it looks like it may end up being a bit one-sided, but we'll see what happens. I have been told it's very epic. Uh, but, I mean, what, who do we have here? We have a general here. I'm pretty sure this is the Witch King of Angmar. Here, there he is. Look at him. Looking very fancy with his Haradrim uh, warriors. Not quite sure why he's leading Harad, but yeah, fair enough. I mean, someone's got to lead them, I guess. A good volley there from the horse archers, taking out a lot of uh, vassal south from cavalry. And here we go. These horse archers have been caught out. I would have had them in skirmish mode, but uh, they are going to now be attacked by these south from cavalry. I don't think they're going to win at the south from cav because these are royal uh, Edoran uh, or mounted archers or what? Royal mounted archers, I'm pretty sure. So they're actually not bad in combat since they have the name royal. But uh. I mean, looks like they might. I don't know if they are sending up infantry. Yep, their infantry is on the move. The haze of infantry in the distance. As the cavalry fight unfolds. So I don't know if this is just like. This army just got to delay the uh, Haradrim and Eastling armies while they uh, march around the back of the Thermopylae defense. That might be what's about to happen. This is my first time watching it, so I'm just as in the dark as you, but I presume they are going to march around this Thermopylae, like, wall while they attack on the front. I mean, bold by the cavalry just to charge out and attack that front line earlier. I mean, that was just a bit strange and bizarre. I mean, there's some good charges going on here. We have some Bree border guards here as well. Let's have a look at these guys. They don't often... They look like proper, like, mountain sergeants and stuff like that. They actually look quite cool. Don't, like I said, don't often see area door, so it's nice to see them. We have some, uh, looks like some serpent swordsmen in here. And we also have some spears now. And these spears are just going to change the uh, the face of the battlefield, really, entirely. Yeah, the Witch King of Angmar also getting stuck in. Hopefully he gets a couple of kills. Look at this guy floating here. That's the sorcery that he causes, the Witch King. Makes men start to float. And there we go. It does look like the cavalry for Rohan is in full flight. Not a good sign. Vassal Southron cavalry. It's actually light shock. I always thought it was melee. Or spear cav, to be honest. I just thought it might be a spear. I mean, yeah, they are slowly chasing them down. And 
That looks like the battle's kind of over for the moment here. These poor Bree border guards getting cut down by the spears. But I'd say that was a definite victory for uh, the forces of evil. They have certainly come out on top there. They killed a lot of the uh, forces of good or the good cavalry. I mean, look at all this infantry here that was ready just to be thrown in. Seemed a bit OTT, but... Oh, they've been caught again. That's not good. Yeah, this is... I don't think the, these cavalry can get away. I don't know why they really sent them up here on their own when they had no infantry. I'm not sure if this is just part of the scenario. Who knows? But, uh... It does look, it does look good. They do look epic. And there we go. They're falling back again. As soon as the spears get close, they're out of there. Horse archers firing overhead. Trying to hit... Well, they're just hitting anything and everything. I wouldn't say they're doing much damage. Certainly not to these infantry. You better just shoot the cavalry with your bows. Horses be ni are nice targets to hit. Uh, on this side, doesn't look like the front line's moving forward. They're still firing all their artillery. Um, it looks like... As I'm saying that, they actually look like they're focusing down a lot of the artillery here for Mordor. Look at, like, all the dead... Artillery piece. Another one just gone there. So yeah, they're running out of artillery pieces. And as I say that, it looks like Harad's going to be sending for Varag Footman. He's only got one artillery piece left, I think. Oh no, two. That one very close to dying. That one just, like, bounced off, I'm pretty sure, all this crew here. But I mean, they are, I think they're trying to hit this one up here. Yeah, the, you've got a very hard chance of hitting this one all the way up on this cliff. You were better just firing down on all this infantry down here, which is pretty beaten up. Look at all this Bree... Spears and halberdiers, they're so tightly packed together, there's no way you break through this. No way you're going to break through this with infantry. So, I mean, certainly using artillery was definitely a good idea. Look at all the poor halberdiers. We have farmers here. We have, these are not halberdiers. Yeah, Shire Fieldsmen. Put these guys out front. Let them take the uh, the flak and the ammo. Oh, Orc Rabble already breaking. Well, we have Dunedain uh, Rangers now already firing. Let's get, an, uh, let's get a volley. Loose! Ah, yes. Oh, that's a very good volley. See, if Aragorn wasn't leading the armies down uh, down on the ground, he'd be up here with, uh, as a ranger. And here we go, the clash of infantry. It's going to be the, uh, the orc gravel in first. These guys will break pretty quickly. A volley. I'm pretty sure there's artillery in there. I'm not sure. I mean, I carry on firing my artillery because this is just an orc rabble. It's worth the risk. Oh, this guy here just pinning a poor, a poor orc to the ground. More rabble coming in. It is funny seeing like these tiny little orcs fighting huge men. In come the Varig footmen. These guys will certainly make it a bit sterner opposition. They're already breaking through that front line here. Look at that. They're actually very much in the back lines. What have we got here then? We've got some Arnorian sword masters. These guys will be elite. There's, yeah, only 19 a unit. Oh, they look epic. Oh, I love the shields as well. Their shields are really nice. Send in the, uh, send in the farmers. Have they got... Uh, yeah, they have a missile capability. Okay. The fieldsman. That's bizarre. What did they throw? Looks like invisible invisible jabbies. But I mean, yeah, look at them. Look at the little hobbits. Fighting away. Trying to take out these uh, barrack footmen. Just looks so goofy as well. I mean, they're holding a stick. You should really just be able to snap that in two. Oh, no. He's killed the... You just killed a hobbit. How could you? All they do is eat and sleep. They don't do any harm to anyone. It just look like these halberdiers are getting a bit overwhelmed. I mean, look at that. That's uh, This halberdier line does not look like it's holding anytime soon. How do you fight against such hate? I do ask you are quite correct. Here we go. So it looks like Lord Sauron is being sent in. There he is. Looks like he... Oh, here he comes. He looks a bit goofy when he runs. He shouldn't be able to run this fast. And yeah, because he's a small unit, he's just a one-man unit. He can walk through and get behind the lines. He's already just killed a hobbit. 
What a... What a mean man. He's killed another one. He's just killing hobbits. He doesn't care about anyone else. Okay, he's taking out other, he's taking out men now as well. More hobbits. I think he's just racked up like two or three kills now. Already. Yeah, and these sh uh, Shire Fieldsmen are already breaking. We've got another line of defense back here. Uh, this is defending the rear, actually. I was just... Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. So, the Eastlings have been constantly chasing Rohan down the entire way here. Okay. So, it looks like... And they're also focusing down the Witch King. I think these uh, cavalry really need to engage. Break as much stuff as possible, because they're getting wasted here. But a lot of stuff wavering on this front line over here. I mean, okay, these are Norian Swordmasters in here now. They're trying to take out Sauron. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Take him out. He's already pretty bloodied up. I think the best way to take him out would be with arrows. Oh, they're just the music, for instance, just died for a moment. But he's like, yeah, he's taking them out left, right, and center. This is the best I've ever seen Sauron do, actually, to be honest. Oh, these are Norian Swordmasters getting focused down, though. They were... They don't have a shield, like, they have a shield on their back, but it doesn't help when they're facing forwards, and look at that volley. So yeah, the, uh, I think it's the Uruk Throng, or just like, all the archers back there just trying to help their Lord Sauron get out of it. Yeah, they just can focus down. Oh, brutal. And the Hobbits are back, yes. And now we've got fire arrows coming in, trying to break these guys. Oh my gosh! I'm just watching this brutal volley. That unit of Arnold Sa Swordmaster just got vaporized. Yeah, down to three men. To one man is... No, that unit got entirely wiped out by arrows. Wow. Okay, so Sauron's free to do what he wants now. Um, the Witch King's in here fighting all of Rohan's cavalry. Where's, that? Where's Aragorn in all this? Aragorn's also in here. Okay. So he's in here somewhere. I don't know where. I'm not really going to look. keep an eye on that. Let's keep watching the front line. Um, which, which to be honest, is not looking so good. Oh, that was a nice volley that we just saw come, come in front of us. But yeah, these halberdiers here, not looking so hot. They've lost their spear support. And they're being slowly flanked. We've got orc warriors now in here. So they're a bit better than the orc rabble. Oh, that's a nice shot there. Arrow just taking up that. The Varig Warrior. Oh. Halberdier's getting just chipped away. Oh, we're taking out a general, though. Which one is dead? I don't know which one is dead. Um, I don't know which general that is. It's not the Witch King. And it's not Sauron. I'm trying to see where... Is Sauron wavering? No, no, this isn't Sauron. It's Aragorn. Aragorn's in here. Okay. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, there's Aragorn. Aragorn! Hopefully he's taking names. With his sword Narsil. There he is, Sauron. They're just chipping away. Instead of fighting each other, they're just going to take out each other's armies. But one army uh, has lost a general. I'm pretty sure it's the evil uh, army. It might be Harad. Or it might be... Uh, yeah, it might be Harad or it might be the Eastlings. They lost their general. There we go. He's just taking names. Like he's just poking them with his sword. His long sword. Sauron, on the other hand, he's still chipping away at these halberdiers. Go on, you can take him. You'll make a name for yourself. Take this general. Oh, getting decapitated there. But yeah, look at this. This is a huge gap now. But Well, actually, the halberd is, yeah, well and truly, like, separate. This one over here is not looking so hot. This one's sort of holding its line. But they're going to get flanked real hard soon. And by real hard, I mean now. Where is uh, Aragorn gone? Did he pull back? He did. He fell back. Yeah, I think he's realized that this uh, line of defense is pretty much gone. This army over here is actually is pretty wavering, though. General dead. It is Harad. So that means, yeah, the Witch King's leading Eastlings. It's still, this battle still has a long time in it, apparently, but I don't see how the, like this length has still got to go. 
Like, it looks like the good forces... I mean, apparently, balance power is massively now in their favor. Oh, my gosh. How is the balance of power now? Like, look at the balance power. It's probably bugged out, but, like... I mean, I guess there's not much left here. Uh, I guess it's, it's possible they can win this, but... These guys need to... have got very little ammo left. He's doing a die. I mean, they've got gatekeepers up here as well. These are crossbows. These look pretty epic. But, um... But I'd say that... Yeah, some of the balance powers massively in their favor, but I can't really see how that is possible. Uh, I mean, they've got a lot of cavalry, does Rohan, which is fighting over here, but... Rohan in... Uh, cavalry, sorry, in combat doesn't last long. And I mean, and Mordor still got Lord Sauron, and they've still got the Witch King, which they're pretty tough to take out. They don't get many kills, but they're hard to kill. He's pulling back. Yeah, I mean, and also these things still got a pretty chunky army, and yeah, like look at all this, all the Loki rooms still to come, and there's still like Salfron sword. I don't know how the the balance power is so so in favor of uh, forces are good, but apparently it is. I mean, they seem to be plucking units out of nowhere. These Arnorian swords coming out of nowhere. They're coming to save the day. Send these guys in, yeah. Oh, there's another unit as well. Oh, nice. Right, yeah. I mean, this might make a difference. Look at these gatekeepers just casually getting back. They're cheering. Yeah, why are you cheering? You're retreating. And that man just got killed by an orc rabble. What a cowardly way to go out. Imagine dying to rabble. Sauron's in here now. Look at him. He's just taking names still. Focusing them down. Those spears look like they're about to break for uh, for Eriador. Actually, no, they're just repositioning. Re spearmen. These uh, Arnorian swordmasters aren't doing so hot, actually. And they're sending in more stuff, more orc warriors. I mean, they are running out of Varric footmen here. These are so w well chevroned. I mean, I, on the other hand, Arnor has like no chevrons, or Bree has no chevrons. But they've routed everything over here. Not quite sure how they've managed this. So Harad's like gone. It's now kind of the Eastlings left, and he's got his uh, Eastling nomadic archers. Not really seen these guys before on the battlefield, but they're pretty cool. Do you like the look of them? Look at them. Just a bit of a Mongol vibe, but they do look cool. And we've got some... I mean, now we've got anti-cab stuff coming up. Look at this. These halberdiers. They'll stop this cavalry in their tracks. Yeah, balance power. Massively not in favor of... Uh, oh my gosh, of the forces of evil. And they're just routing these archers like no problem. Look, this unit just routed uh, 101. That is... Something is up here. Wow. Look at all these archers. They all just routed. That is insane. More units. They're wavering here. Is the Witch King dead? He must be. I don't see him die, but he must be dead. And Aragorn's gone all the way over there. What is he doing? What is he doing? I think Sauron's dead too. Have I missed Sauron dying? I have, haven't I? Oh, we have two Aragons. Don't mind me. I'm just getting focused down. We have two Aragons on the board. Why don't they bring Gandalf? Could have brought Gandalf. Yeah, Sauron's dead, I'm pretty sure. I missed him. Missed him dying. So the actual... Actually, it would seem I managed to miss both the Witch King and Sauron dying. And, uh... So the, so the evil forces are down to no generals. So it's no surprise that the balance of power is massively... Not in their favor, but I mean, in fairness, they, look at them, they're desperately trying to take out Aragon here. I just send them in. Send them in. But yeah, look at all this stuff breaking here. I mean, they've basically got nothing over here, though, of the good forces. It's one unit of cavalry. Can't break everything, but they have got two units of halberdiers ready. Oh, it is going to be close. I think it's still been. The numbers say that the evil should win, but, like, morale. I'd say the good can win this. This is really, really close.
Oh, it looks like they're, for they're going forward of the, the three forces and they... Yeah, they're cutting these guys down. Wow, look at that. Varric Footman, they're winning decisively, uh, but they're still wavering. 120 men. Looks like they're having to send in archers now as well over here. Not a good sign. Oh my gosh, they killed the Aragorn though. They focused him down. Jeez, okay, so Bree could be in a bit of trouble here with morale as well. And Aragorn over here is now in combat. Look at him. He doesn't give he doesn't give two doesn't give a damn. Does not give a damn. We've got Dunedain Rangers over here. Yeah, they've actually broken through. Look. Oh no. So they just needed to defend their general. I don't know what he was doing. Was he just allowing his Aragorn to get focused on these? Bree Spears could have probably won that fight. What have they got here? They've got more Dunedain Rangers with more ammo. They just even keep pulling units out of nowhere. Gatekeepers, more gatekeepers. Where are these guys appearing from? Two gatekeepers, though, have got to hold back the entirety of uh, the Eastlings by the looks of it. Well, I'm pushing forward. I mean, they're sending their archers forward, but yeah, deal with Mordor, and you've then really won this. But I mean, Arag Aragorn really could uh, do with going back in there. He could probably break quite a few of these units. Uruk archers now being forced into becoming uh, infantry. What's left? What is left? <laughs> some some men running away. Look at this. The, these guys are all running. Uruk archers, 129 and gone. How? I don't even think I've ever. I don't think I've ever seen that. Look at that. And a chain route. What is going on here? What is happening here? It just seems like they're getting so exhausted. I mean, they're fresh as well. How are these guys even breaking? We've now got a. We've now got a final attack. We've got the Varric footman here. We've got Aragorn coming in. He looks like he's going to try and break these guys. They're shaken. They're shaken because their general's dead. Shaken but not stirred. And now they're getting run down by Aragorn. He literally is coming to the aid of Bree. Wow. He's very much could like. I don't know. Doing all the heavy work. These halberdiers turned around. They have. Smart. Uh, the gatekeepers probably can hold okay on their own. Looks like Eastlings just need to push forward. I'm just going to uh, fast forward now. Yeah, look at all these orcs that are breaking. Wow. They're seriously just going to go up and just get some easy kills. They're broken. They're broken. It's not even worth it. Yeah, send the gatekeepers and just shoot them. Don't risk Aragorn. Yeah, but <laughs> this guy is just killing orcs as they run past. But it looks like it's going to turn into a 1v1, and it looks like it's going to be the Eastlings and Eriador. And a bit of and a bit of uh, Rohan, a.k.a. <laughs> Aragorn. <laughs> yeah, these poor guys, look at them. They're just getting focused down. They just need to push forward. Don't know what happened here. I don't know if the players just like, what happened here? But, um... Okay, so now it looks like these things are coming forward. It looks like they were just waiting until it was down to these units. So it's going to turn into a very, very close finish. So I'm going to quickly put a cut in and see, uh, and I'll see you guys in a moment when the battle restarts. So we are back, and it looks like the final assault is about to begin. We have the Easterlings setting up with their Loki Rim halberdiers, and we've got Loki Rim going in by looks of it first. Going against halberdiers, so this is never a good sign. Uh, we've got the crossbows up there firing down, getting some good ang angles, gatekeepers, and Dunedain rangers. And here we go, yeah, Loki Rim. Just charging against these halberdiers. They could possibly force way through. I mean, they have halberdiers here, which are pretty uh, pretty nasty. What have we got already? We've already got nomadic archers already wavering and gone. Wow. Okay. This army, the evils, the evil army has been a bit of a shambles, I won't lie. It's been breaking so quickly. But if you look at the halberds, they've got longer length than these ones here. They can chop through these in no time. And they've got lines of them. They've got line after line of them.
What have we got breaking up here? More Eastern, Eastling Nomadic Archers breaking up here. We've got Loki Rim. Yep, yeah, there you go. The Nomadic Archers gone. Loki Rim also up here, though. The gatekeepers are winning. They are pretty elite, to be fair. No surprise they're winning this fight. They do almost look like a proper infantry unit that just has crossbows, like, lying around. God, area door looks good. Look at the Dunedain Rangers, though. They've still got plenty of ammo as well. Just focusing that. You can just about see over this ledge, and they're just firing down. Oh, yes, you cheer. You cheer, sir. He's excited they've got such a good angle. And, yeah, I mean, look at this. Just, I wouldn't even bother having these halberdiers the other way. Like, I don't think these gatekeepers are going to get through here. They might with Aragorn's help. Who knows? Oh. But they, all they're doing is just showing their backs to uh, the how to the archers. You're better just going in, killing off these halberdiers. They might actually break through this lot with brute force. Yep. Yeah. Oh no! I thought they were turning around. No, just turn around, please. Just go look the other way. Saves yourselves a miserable death. Who cares if Aragon charges into your back? He, he's going to charge through you anyway. It's Aragon. They are, uh, it looks like gatekeepers down here as well. They're getting slowly cut down. Not quite sure how they've got down here. Who knows? I don't know how you get down... I thought they were all, all on top of that hill, but apparently not. Yeah, look at this. These halberdiers are now going to march all the way around to try and get up here. They're just going to get shot by all these Dunedain Rangers. I, I put good money on them not arriving. Yeah, look at that. Look at that volley. They're going to waver and break before they get there. And Aragorn's going to ride them down now. That's such a such a waste. And here we go. A good charge coming in. Remember Aragorn, he's going to just... No, Okay. I don't know if these units are broken, but I mean, they might be broken in their charges because, but not in killing. He's just stab it. Look at these guys. They're just being stabbed and falling down the hill. Taking names. Oh my gosh. He's just cutting them like one after the other. There you go. They're routing. Oh, and there you go. I imagine that is, uh, yep, that is looking like uh, GG to be honest. Looks like. The evil forces have been defeated at this Thermopylae map held by the uh, by Eriador and Rohan. I thought it was pretty out, like they were well and truly outnumbered, but like I'm not sure what happened. There's like some mad tra chain routes. But I mean, you imagine the gatekeepers and Aragorn. Aragorn's already down here. He's just so quick. Um... But yeah, they like they're gonna just come down here and they're gonna encircle. Oh my gosh, the arrows, Dunedain Rangers, yeah. They're breaking like with only Aragon in here. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's setting a rally off, I guess. But um Yeah, it's uh it's unfortunate. And there you go, it looks looks like I mean, yeah, two hundred and odd to eighty nine. Poor poor Loki Rim. And they're getting focused down by arrows. Jeez. I mean, their halberd is actually breaking. All it took was a lot. Those halberd are just breaking as well. So, like, if they sent those other halberd instead of just sending them all the way back there to die, if they actually pushed through here, they might have had a chance. But, so, yeah, that is the end of the battle. I'm going to show the end result so we can have a look and see what, how people did. Thank you for Boris for sending this in. It was a, it was a bizarre but actually quite a fun battle to watch in the end. I, I don't know what happened with, like, the breaking at the end. But, uh, yeah, it was actually kind of pretty epic. So, we'll look at uh, the locksmith first, who's playing as... Rohan, he got 60 kills with his Aragon, which um, was the one that was surviving at the end there. Um, 283 kills with his scouts, which is pretty impressive actually. And uh, his other one didn't do too bad either. And then his uh, Mounted Archer is getting 101 kills, that's not bad. His Eastmark Heavy Rider is getting 114. And his Royal Edrin Lance is getting 259. So I'm, I'm surprised the rest didn't do as well. Um, but um, especially when Sporter Scouts did so well, you'd hope that the rest of his uh, really heavy cavalry would have got lots of kills. But it didn't happen. But he did okay anyway. He delayed Eastlings for a long time. Then Boris, who was playing as Eriador, um, 341 kills with his Gatekeepers, 658 with his Dunedain Rangers. Wow. 
445 with another. Yeah, his arch is cleaned up 518. Yeah, like his arch has got like about 2,000 kills in themselves almost. That is insane. Um, his poor Shireman, only, uh, Hobbit's only getting 18 kills. That's a shame. His Arnori and Swordmaster's getting focused on constantly. only got 104. His Aragorn got uh, 14 kills. I don't know if he just left him to die, but he did just end up getting killed quite quickly. Um, and his Capel did okay, actually. That's 78 kills, so that's not bad. Um, and then Executioner, who's playing as the Eastlings, uh, his, the Witch King only got three kills, it's a bit of a shame. Um, 358 kills for this Varric Footman here, that's very good, probably the best of the bunch. Um, his Halberdiers, his best got 162 kills. His Loki Rim just actually, just did not turn up, uh, 40, uh, 40, 54 kills. And then his, uh, Archers, yeah, just got focused down, unfortunately. Then we have, um, Ixpaws here. Who's playing as uh, Mordor? His uh, Lord Sauron getting 23 kills. Not bad actually for uh, like these small. But you've got to remember that these guys are just one unit. So one unit getting 23 kills is not awful. Um, I mean the Aragorn one getting 60 is very very good. Uh, Zorok Thorong, the best of it is like entire army getting 105 kills. The rest just like in the mid 40s 50s. Um, but that's Mordor. They don't have really good stuff, but they've just got a lot of them. Um, and then we have Lol Watino here, who got, uh, who's playing as the Harad uh, army, and he did okay as well. I mean, his army, I think he lost, oh, he also had a Witch King, okay. Um, so that's probably why I was seeing two Witch Kings. Um, but yeah, he also didn't do so well. I think he lost his Witch King quite early, and he seems to have just have a huge chain route. His uh, best unit probably was like his 81 with his Southron Heavy Spearman. Um, probably, and then his swords, yeah, I don't know really what happened to his army. It just, it just seemed to break quite easily and quickly. Um, since after lost its general, but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this battle, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment as well to show your support if you want to. I do appreciate uh, all the comments, and I do read them all and try to reply to as many as possible. But until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys 